afternoon we glorify you. Yes, you lifted up. Yes, you lifted up. O Son of God, Most High, you lifted up. And Father, this afternoon we are gathered here to hear of your word, to hear you speak to us. Lord, speak to us in ways that we can hear and understand you. Let us know you. Let us love you. Let us praise you. For this we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Somebody celebrate Jesus and give the Lord a shout. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We can have our seats. Lord bless you. And do you guys appreciate the sound trumpeters? They are doing some beautiful job. We say we appreciate the sound trumpeters. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Welcome to today's grace hour. You can just stand 
to your neighbor on the right and on the left and just give them a high five. Welcome them to the presence of the Lord. Tell them it is not in vain that you came. If you don't have a neighbor, you can, uh, you can say hi to that seat and be sure next time somebody will be seated there. In a few months, not from now. A few months from now, you will be having to come earlier than you came today for you to be able to sit behind where you are sitting. I don't know if you heard that. In a few months from now, not many days from now, and please remember this, in a few months from now, you will be required to come earlier than you came for you to find a seat behind where you are seated. Hallelujah. So you better train yourself to be coming very early if you want to retain that seat. You'll be required to come very early to maintain the one you are sitting on. Hallelujah. Because the Lord is releasing men to come to worship him. Praise the name of Jesus. In this month of flourish, we cannot only flourish in ourselves. Even the ministry has to flourish. Hallelujah. Amen. Bible says in the book of uh, Deuteronomy chapter number 8 from verse number 11. This is what we are going to read this afternoon. Deuteronomy 8 from verse number 11. Beware that you do not forget the Lord your God by not keeping his commandments. His judgments are his statutes which I command you today. Lest when you have eaten and are full and have built beautiful houses and dwell in them, and when your herds and your flock multiply, and your silver and your gold are multiplied, and all that you have is multiplied, when your heart is lifted up, and you forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage, who led you through that great and terrible wilderness, in which were fiery serpents and scorpions, and thus the land where there was no water, who brought water for you out of the flinty rock, who fed you in the wilderness with manna, which your fathers did not know, that he might humble you and that he might test you to do you good in the end. Now mark that, that he might test you to do you good in the end. Then you say in your heart, my power and the might of my hand have gained me this wealth, and you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he saw to your fathers as it is this day. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Zechariah. Verse number six. Bible says, So he said, He said to me, This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, not by might, nor by power, but my, by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Who are you, O great mountain, before Zerubbabel? You shall become a plain, and you shall bring forth the capstone with shouts of grace, grace to it. Hallelujah. Another reading in the book of John 4. From verse number 23. John 4, 23, I read 23 and 24. But the hour is coming and now is when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth, for the Father is seeking such to worship him. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. Praise the name of Jesus. Today I just feel in my heart to just share with us the word of God on even in riches worship. Hallelujah. Even in riches, worship. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, we have, we have built a system in, our, in, in, in the religious belief where men seek God when they want something. And that is why God makes men remain in poverty 
Because when they are out of need, they no longer seek his face. Hallelujah. We have built a system of religiosity that makes us only come to God when we are in need. When our needs have been met, then we forget that there is someone that was with us in the hour of trouble. We forget that it is not our own power that has taken us out of the trouble we were in. It is not our own understanding. It is not our own wisdom that has plucked us out. But there was someone that held our hand. I heard a story that was sort of a tortoise that was lifted by men. And the tortoise was very humble when men were lifting it to go on top of a tree because the tortoise desired to go on the top of a tree. But you know the makeup of a tortoise is one, it is heavy. Two, it has very small limbs. So it is practically impossible for a tortoise to go on top of a tree by its own means. Where is the name of Jesus? So this tortoise desired to go on top of a tree and just experience that the, the, the feeling of being on top of a tree for a day. <coughs> and so men lifted the tortoise up and put it on the top of a tree. By the makeup of a tortoise, you know the tortoise cannot hold itself on a tree. So they had to make a way of, 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 of arranging the twigs and the branches of this tree to make sure that the tortoise holds. But what happened is, when the tortoise was finally comfortable at the top of the tree, it started urinating on the man's head. Hallelujah. And what did they do? They withdrew. When the tortoise felt hungry, you can imagine what happened. You are on top of a tree. You didn't take yourself there. You don't know the way down. And you need to go down. Now the very same way is that God lifts us up and brings us to a level and when we are at that level, we forget that it is the hand of the Lord that has brought me this far. When we have been lifted and we are now above our companion, we forget that it is not by our own hand. It is by the hand of the Lord that I am here. And when we forget, the Lord will withdraw with his help. And when the Lord withdraws, nature hates vacuum. Trouble will come. That is why he says to the children of Israel that these enemies that you have left within you, that are surrounding you, I have preserved them but for this purpose, to this end, that when you forget, I will raise up your enemies to oppress you. Praise the name of Jesus. The reason why some of us go through oppression it is because we have forgotten the power that lifted us to the level we are in. It is because we forgot the power of God that was at work in us that has brought us to the result we are producing. Praise the name of Jesus. The reason why some of us are struggling in life it is because God has allowed your enemies to oppress you. In the book of Judges, well, you understand that whenever the children of Israel would sin, the, the, the Lord would deliver them. He would hand them over to the hands of the enemy. It is not that the enemy were powerful. The enemies of the Israelites were not powerful. And that is why after every victory, they were judged by God to prove to them that you are not powerful. I was only using you as a weapon against my children. Hallelujah. Let me bring you to, a, to an analogy you understand. Now you have seen children or you've been to school or you've been a child yourself. So I know this one you're going to relate with. Now you've seen a child when the parent or when the teacher wants to punish a child. I understand these days there's no corporal punishment in schools. But now during our days we are being beat thoroughly. Now there's that cane that 
the teacher would use, or there's that wood, firewood, piece of firewood that your parent would use, or whatever weapon of uh, punishment, or whatever mode of punishment the parent, the parent would want to use. Now, if you took that cane and placed it on the table, it is by its own self powerless to punish. Are you hearing me? Kiboko, ukiekelea kwa meza, haina nguvu za kumwadhibu mtoto. It is until it is held by someone who has authority and power over the child that it can get power to punish the child. Hallelujah. Sijui kama tumeelewana. Shida haina nguvu na mamlaka ya kukuadhibu kama mwana wa Mungu. Problem and the devil does not have power to punish you as a child of God. Trouble on its own cannot punish you as a child of God. It is until God allows, uh, it is until God has permitted and has handed you over that punishment can land on you. Hallelujah. It is until God has given permission. Until then, trouble is powerless. Read the story of Job very well. The devil is a schemer. And the devil knew every strategy that he would use against his job. That is why after he has given permission, we don't see the devil committing a meeting calling for a meeting with the demons and asking them, how shall we defeat Job? There is no meeting that is convened by the devil because the plan was there. The only thing that was lacking was permission. Hallelujah. The plan was there. Permission was not. That is why when he appears before God, when the sons of God are appearing, and he says, have, and God says, have you considered my servant job? What the devil says is not give me the strategy. It is give me the permission. Hallelujah. The devil knows what he can do to you and what he can do against you, but the reason he has not done it is because he has not yet gotten permission to do it. Hallelujah. And what protects you? What protects you is your worship. What protects you is your worship. I read the story of Job another time and I realized something, that on the day that his sons died was before he made a sacrifice. Bible says that he would offer a sacrifice after they went to for, for party. When the sons would go for party and they would invite their sisters and they would go and party and then Job would wake up the following morning and say perhaps they sinned against God. And then he would make an offering. On this day, the devil did not wait for the morning. Hallelujah. When the devil got permission, he did not wait for the morning. Because he knew if morning comes, this man called Job, he will rise up and will raise an altar. And I will be powerless with permission, but I can do nothing. What protects you is your worship. Hallelujah. What protects your life is your worship. So God carries the children of Israel and he takes them from the hands of Pharaoh and Pharaoh hardens his heart and God deals with him perpendicularly until he says, I don't want to see any of you, all of you go. And then the last blow on the children of, uh, of Egypt is when the uh, economy is splattered overnight by the, by the children of Israel. And they go out of Egypt with the riches. 
by the way of the wilderness. And, 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 and God says, I will lead you by the way of the, of the wilderness that your enemies can think you're going nowhere. Hallelujah. And they come to the Red Sea and they pitch their tent there and, and, the, and the enemies come. And you know the story about how God deals with them in the Red Sea by, by, by making them swallowed by the waters after he has made a way for his children. And they go in the wilderness. And these men are complainers. Always complaining, always complaining, always complaining. And after all that, God comes to them in Deuteronomy 8 where we read. And now God is telling them that I am determined to make sure that you arrive in the land of the promise. Hallelujah. God has confirmed to you that he is determined to make sure that you arrive at the place where you will frowlish. Hallelujah. The Lord has confirmed to you that he has made sure and he has determined to make sure that whatever he promised your life, there is not even one that will go missing. The Lord is determined to make sure that he fulfill his promises for your life. The Lord is determined to make sure that your life, to make sure that your life goes according to his plan and to his promise for your life. Because he says, I am a faithful God. Having 